Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about one of my favorite topics in life. We're talking about Chanel nail polish. So since it is September, I thought I could go ahead and talk to you guys about some of my nail polish recommendations for fall. Now, that is not to say that because it is a certain season or certain month that you can't wear different colors. You can wear whatever color you want any time of year. But if you're looking for some inspiration for some darker colors, just stick around. But before we go any further in the video, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or our hot coffee. Let's have a sip and let's get started. So what I'll do to give you guys some swatches is I'll take some scotch tape, put it on the back of my hand and swatch the nail polish so you guys can see what the color looks like on a human skin tone. As you can see, I have nail color on right now that is not very fall themed, but I'll do the scotch tape swatch for you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with a classic, but this classic comes with a huge warning and a disclaimer. This is Rouge Noir. It is the quintessential burgundy red. If you think of a dark glass of red wine, this is the color. The disclaimer is that this color is gorgeous to look at, but I cannot make it last on my fingers for more than two or three days. I like There's something about this color that is allergic to me. It will not last. I don't care if it's on my fingers, on my toes. It, there, there's nothing about this nail polish that wants to stay on me, which is so frustrating because it is such a perfect color for fall. It's so quintessential fall, that dark red wine color, but it doesn't want to stay. I have an old version. I have a new version. I have a matte version. It doesn't want to stay. It just, it does not like me. So. I like it. I, I mention it in the video because it is such a classic color, but I don't know why it's so classic because it doesn't stay. Like, does it stay on you? Because it has so much hype and so much like myth around the nail polish, but does it actually last on anyone's fingers? I'm really curious. I guess I don't actually have a matte version of Rouge Noir. I have a matte version of Profondeur. So this color I think is also available in the, the regular version, but I have the matte or velvet version that came out last fall. And this one is a bit of the same story. It's really pretty, but it doesn't really last all that long. I think it lasts a bit longer than Rouge Noir, which is not saying much, but it does, you know, chip very easily so i don't know if there's something about a red formula that just doesn't last on me and since it's so dark it is so incredibly noticeable when it does chip but there's really something about these formulas that absolutely refuses to last on my fingertips and it's really a shame because i don't know it's just such a nice color but this one here, if you can make it last, this is basically just a matte version of Rouge Noir. I know it's called Profondeur, but it is extremely close to Rouge Noir. Okay, I'm glad we got those two out of the way. Let's move on to some better nail colors. This one here is called Vamp, and this was sent to me by a subscriber slash friend. Her name was Cookie, and she sent this to me because for some reason I thought that Rouge Noir was called Vamp in the US, but it's not. It's, Vamp is a completely different color, and this one actually lasts on my fingertips. It's a really gorgeous red with some sort of pearlescent sheen in it. There's like a little golden, not golden, it's like almost like a cool tone swirl. It has almost like a little bit of like, I want to say green maybe. It's a beautiful color. There is a little bit of that little shimmer swirly shift in it which i love i love a dark nail polish that has like a little something reflective in it or a little color i'm not always a huge fan of just like a black or really really dark nail polish sometimes i like when it has a little bit of something to it and this one is gorgeous i love it this is definitely something i'm, I'm gonna be wearing very soon and this one actually does last on my fingers Okay, so the next one here is a little bit older. This one is called Ver Obscure. I think this came out maybe three or four years ago. It's a really dark emerald forest green. It is a gorgeous color. It is really dark, but it has a green in it. And even when you just open it in the bottle, it looks really interesting. Like the color you see in the glass is really pretty. 
and then when you wear it it's so beautiful because it is very dark but there's a hint of green it's a beautiful color and i find that this one is quite long wearing there must just be something in the rouge noir family or profondeur family that is allergic to meat that refuses to last but this dark green is absolutely stunning and i think from what i remember it's been a while since i've worn this but i think it lasts about a week like i don't remember it chipping exceptionally fast so a week is usually like my standard for a nail polish and this one held up and Vert Obscure to me just screams fall. It's that super rich, dark green. It's a gorgeous color. Okay, since we're on the topic of super dark colors with a little hint of something something, this one is called Marignard, which means mariner. So it's a really dark navy. It's beautiful. I think it's in the same family, I would say, as Vert Obscure, where it's the super dark with a hint of something. This one is a bit blue, this one is a bit green, and if you love a dark polish, I think you'd love these. This one also lasts quite a while, around a week, and it is just a really beautiful color. If you love dark navies or just dark colors in general, I really think you'd love Marignard, and it's just such a good color there's something so chic about a really dark manicure or something i don't know like either like a pure white manicure or something super dark i find so like chic and elegant i don't know why but this one for me screams fall okay so we had Vert obscure and marignard and now i have two colors that look similar to it but have a beautiful little shift of pearlescent shine to them the first one being emerald which is just a really dark forest green it's such a beautiful rich color and it has a warm tone golden pearlescent swirl in it so it is lighter than Vert obscure because it has that little shift in it so if you want something dark but not too dark, I would go with Emerald. It is so pretty. It stays on the theme of dark, rich colors for fall, but it is a bit lighter than Vert Obscure. So if you wanna go for something dark, but not too dark, you can go with this one here, Emerald, because as you can see, it is a bit lighter. There's that little shift in it. It kind of lightens it up a bit, and it's still a really beautiful color that lasts quite a while. Okay, so next up is an item that is new from the summer, but it is limited edition, but I still see it on the website. So this one is called Radiant Blue. It is very close to Marignard, but again, it has a beautiful little shift of iridescent pearlescent shine in it i think it is a little bit cool i don't think it's a yellow or golden swirl in it but there is just a beautiful shift or a sparkle it's a stunning color again if you want to wear a really dark color but maybe not as dark as marignard this is dark but a bit lightened it has a bit of shimmer a bit of more mystery to it this i think is a gorgeous color this came out with the some not the summer collection but in the summer there was a nail polish collection where there was a radiant version there was a radiant verde radiant ballerina etc and this was one of the ones this is radiant blue i picked it up right away because i knew that this would be perfect for fall and i've worn it a few times it's gorgeous i love it it lasts quite a while like a week and it's just a beautiful color. Okay, so on the Chanel website directly, I see two colors that I think would be gorgeous for this season here. There's one called Radiant Red, and this is part of the Radiant Nail Polish collection. This kind of looks like a candy apple red. Now, I do have a candy apple red from the holiday collection last year. This one here is called Flamboyance, or like Flamboyance. And this came out with the holiday collection last year. And this, guys, it is a beautiful shade. It's a red. I think it's a candy apple red. I don't have the radiant red to compare it to. But this is a classic blue red with some yellow or golden swirl in it. And if I remember correctly, I did not get radiant red because I thought it would be too similar to flamboyance here. And there's also another one that I think you guys might enjoy, but again, a huge warning slash disclaimer. This one is the Radiant Rouge Noir. Now, Rouge Noir, as we've stated before, does not last on me. This one does last on me quite a while, but 
in my experience, anything that says rouge noir doesn't last on me, but maybe the radiant version would last a bit longer. This is up to your discretion to test out. If you guys have a radiant rouge noir at home, let us know down in the comments. Does it hold up better than their classic rouge noir? Let us know. But those two, uh, radiant red and radiant rouge noir, I think would be good like fall colors. And there's one purple here that I'm seeing on the website that looks really beautiful. It's called Prune Dramatique. This looks just like a really nice dark purple. It doesn't seem to have any sort of like shimmer or radiance to it. it kind of looks like a flat, shiny finish, but it does look like a really beautiful color. So if you guys have this shade at home, let us know how it wears because it looks like a really beautiful color for fall. And staying on trend of the darker colors with a bit of shift to them, there's one called Opulence that looks really beautiful. It looks interesting because I don't know how to describe the color. It, it kind of looks like a red or a brownish red with hollow in it, like holographic, because it looks like there's a bit of green in it as well. It looks like a really beautiful color for fall because it looks like foliage. Like, you know, when all the colors turn, like the leaves turn different colors, like you have the green, you have the orange, you have the yellow. This nail polish seems to just like encapsul encapsulate all of the foliage colors. So. I think this could be a beautiful color for the fall. And then one last one would be one that's a brand new part of the fall collection. And this one I think is limited edition. This one is called Pure Black. I picked up Pure White. And Pure Black is just that. It's a really dark black nail polish. Now I do have a friend who has Celebrity. And she said that Pure Black is basically just a dupe for Celebrity. So if you have Celebrity at home, and if you want a backup, you could go ahead and get up, get pure black. But if you have celebrity and you don't want something that's the exact same, just keep that in mind. I just think that if you are someone who loves just like a pure black manicure, pure black would be for you. Okay, guys, I think that about does it for some of my recommendations or ideas for nail polish for the fall. Let us know down in the comments which one of these nail polishes are your favorite colors. Do you have certain nail colors you like to wear in the fall? Let us know or even some old discontinued limited edition like chanel is always amazing at like coming out with beautiful nail polish colors and then just making them disappear forever but anyway if you have certain colors you would like to talk about let us know down in the comments so thank you guys so much for stopping by i hope you guys have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time bye